Hello guys, today I'm sharing with you these banknotes from Algeria. So these are the first series of banknotes issued by the Republic of Algeria after its independence from France. Algeria was under Ottoman Empire rule for a long period of time. Subsequently, it became a French territory in 1830 and then the French rule lasted up until 1962. Two years later, in 1964, these banknotes were issued. So Algeria is a North African country. It's actually the largest country in Africa. And interestingly, it has the fourth largest economy in Africa. So the number one is Nigeria, and then you have uh, South Africa, third largest economy is Egypt, and then you have Algeria. So it's a large country and with pretty decent economy. Uh, the largest ethnic population is Arabs, and the second largest is Berbers. Berbers are basically the indigenous people of North Africa. So guys, even though they gained their independence from France, these banknotes were designed by French artists. And um, by the pastel colors and beautiful depiction of native scenes and fauna, you know, this is totally reminiscent of French banknotes. So, let's take a look at these notes one by one. So, we're going to start with the 10 dinars. So, by this time now, they have switched from French francs to dinars. And here in the front, we have storks, there's three of them. They're hanging out on the roofs and in the background you see these decorative towers or minarets. And uh, the writing is in Arabic. Down here it's telling them that uh, Counterfeit banknotes is illegal. Up here is the denomination written out. And uh, beautiful decorative elements as borders. So on the back of this banknote, you have some craft work scenes. You have a hair, uh, a weaving loom, and I believe they're making carpets. So you can see that design. Algeria is known for their weaved carpets. And the writing on the back is in French. So this is the 10 dinars. Let's move on to the 50 dinars. So as we move up, to higher denomination, the banknote size also increases. So this here is 50 dinars, and we have two mountain goats in a desert. More decorative elements on the borders. On the back, we have a caravan of uh, camels and some natives, Berbers. Uh, and some more decorative elements. Just the colors in are so vibrant. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So, last note I have for you is the 
hundred dinars and this one is quite bigger than the other two and in the front you have this very busy bustling scene of the harbor uh, with ships and loading docks and you can see you know trucks and people loading these ships and uh, the date here well, actually all the dates on these banknotes are the same the first day in 1964 the first of January and on the back so this is a aerial view of city of Algiers which is the capital city so you can see the ocean in the background and in the front here we have this kind of affluent area a little city on the hills overlooking the water and <clears throat> this is the a neighborhood in Algiers known as Diar Es Sada so I'm not sure if the artist had some connection to the city maybe they lived there but uh, that's that's kind of like the highlight of this scene in the back of this note. So these banknotes were issued in 1964 and these were eventually demonetized in 1998. Um, one thing I want to show you is the watermark. So there's the watermark. This is Abdel Kader. Uh, all the watermarks are the same. I'll show you the last one. This one he's facing to the right and uh, on the other two he was facing to the left. But so Abdel Kader was a military and religious leader who led the struggle against French colonial rule. He died in 1883, way, way, way before Algeria would ever get its, get its independence. And independence again was in 1962. So even though he didn't live long enough to see independent Algeria, he's still their national hero. And uh, hence on their watermark. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, just absolutely gorgeous French notes and uh, I believe, uh, in my humble opinion, French banknotes are probably one of the, the most beautiful banknotes out there and um, that goes along, that, that goes for also the French colony notes. So guys, keep collecting and leave some comments.